What's striking about this moment is our faith communities are standing really strongly together in favor of welcoming refugees and migrants. Leaders from the Islamic community and the Hindu and the Buddhist and the Catholic and the Protestant and the Jewish communities, when we stand shoulder to shoulder and say, our values teach us to welcome that stranger. The common denominators in our faith are, are the core values that we share. We are obliged to see the divine in those in need. It is the divine who is knocking at our door and our obligation is to be hospitable to every being and especially the beings that come to us in need unexpectedly. というのは私という存在は私以外の全ての存在に支えられているというふうに仏教では考えるからです。ですからもし難民の人が苦しんでいるとすればそれは私の問題と同じことだと私たち仏教とは考えます。no matter how much differences we see in the way we live, in the color of our skin, in the cultures that we belong to, in the languages we speak, it's like a brother of mine has come into my house. I'll have to do all I can to take care of him. To know about someone is not the way to alleviate fear. To know someone is the way to alleviate fear. And I think that is a very essential difference. Look after the needy look after those who are lost and who are deprived from their rights or kicked out of their homes because we know the prophet himself was a refugee if we don't act we lose our own humanity we contradict who we really are as people we don't need to have the same idea about god to defend the human being if each person did a small amount, the collective reality of that would be immense. It doesn't take a lot to do a lot. I'm Hamza Youssef, and I chose faith over fear. I'm Rabbi Rick Jacobs, and I choose faith over fear. Choose faith over fear. Open your heart to refugees. Open your community to faith over fear.